look at my string of pearls. I think I would like to have quite a bit more of these to plant in some containers outside this summer. So that means I'm going to try and propagate them. I'm going to try some different water propagation and then also just putting it on the surface of the soil. I have a fairly big container, but I'm going to cut off some of those long stems and trailers just to stimulate a little more fullness. We've got a lot of bright sunlight today. It's probably going to be a little hard to focus, but I may trim those to get a little more fullness in the top and then also to get me a lot of the little peas, pearls, beads, whatever we're going to call them, to put outside. But you can see I have tons of new strands which really have the tiny beads. Look how tiny some of those are. Here, let me put my hand out there. You can see how tiny they are. I really think they look nice, so I really think I have a good candidate to try. Looks like I'm going to have to untangle a few of these, but they are looking good. So let's get started to work on it. Now I wanted to try and show you the way these little leaves of the string of pearls perform their photosynthesis. There are these tiny little windows that are inside the side of the leaf. It's right there. You can see that little window. It's kind of shining through because it's such a sunny day. And you can see those little open windows that let the sunlight inside the plant. And I thought that was so interesting. And they're showing up so well here. They just look like a little miracle with those little tiny windows. But that really looks so strange. You just never know how nature's going to work something out. Okay, I've got my uh, string of pearls, my little cuttings, all ready. Hopefully they won't be too tangled for me to handle here and get planted. I've prepped up a few little dishes here. Let me see, I've got this strand right here. Oops. And each of those little pearls should sprout roots. So I should be able to get a nice little set in a small dish like this. Now the roots are very tiny and shallow. So I just want to kind of turn them in like that. Let me get another strand. This isn't strand, isn't very big. And then I'm just going to curl them around like that and just lay them on the surface. Now if I should have any um, little extra pearls that drop off, for instance, this little forked area, I can put that down in there too because I should get a new root from each one of those sections. And then I should have a nice little spot to put into a new big dish with a lot of growth to come from that. And now I'm just going to do the same for this little dish. And then I've got a hypertufa dish here to show to do the same thing also. 
Okay, this is how I am putting my little beads, the little pearls, down into soil. I want to get them as thickly growing as I can. So I've got another little strand ready, and that's going to go into this little cup. So I'll just start by just putting them down on the surface and when we get this uh, rooted I will just have a little, I don't know, almost like a plug to put in a planter so that I'll have a nice thick growth. Okay, there's that one. Okay. They're just a teeny bit sticky. There. So there's another one. Now I'm going to put a few more beads right there in the center so that we'll be sure and have a nice thick growth. So now we've got two of these. Okay, now the next one, and now I'm going to put some in this little hypertufa dish. And this I'm going to do a different way. How I'm going to do this one is to take a strand like this, but then I'm going to pull the little beads off. I'll remove the beads. Hopefully you can see that to get me about a little two inch strand. And then I'm going to put the little two inch strand down into the soil. Put it way down into the soil so that whole strand can get rooted. Like that. Now let me do a few more. Hopefully, each one of these will make another plant. Oops, I got that little curled. I won't worry about it. We'll just hope it roots anyway. And then I won't waste these little beads. I'm not real sure if these little pearls will root, but I'm going to throw them in there anyway. Now, I've got a lot of strands to um, plant. I'm going to put more strands in there, too. But we'll see how these work. And then as far as watering these, the only thing I'll do is just mist them slightly because they won't need a lot of water. They just behave just like a regular succ succulent. And they will go search out the water, send little uh, roots out to search out the water. Now over here, we're going to try water rooting, and I will do the same with the strand. I can probably get two out of this one. Oops. And I will just put it down into the water. I will probably add a lot of these little pearls and some tiny swatches to some of my pots over there, the little assorted pots, succulent pots that have a lot of different plants growing in them so that I can have um, some growing up and spilling over the side. Now, I hope to see some roots in these water um, bottles just within, I don't know, hopefully less than a week. So I will just continue putting these into the water. 
And with these little see-through bottles, I can see when the roots form right away. And we won't lose any of the pearls. I'm gonna throw the pearls just in case they want to root. I'll keep them here. But I've got two more little bottles here and I have more upstairs that I can do. But we'll see and I'll let you know in a new video whether or not we had any success and which was the better way or the more successful way to get these to root. These are kind of cute. I like the way they look. Those are kind of some big ones there. I'll say this is the more mature end. Oops, well, we won't waste that. We'll put that right down in there so it can root so it can root just by sending roots down into the soil but basically that's how I'm gonna do it so I will keep you updated and let you know just how everything turns out which will be the best the one in water the one that I stick a stem down into the soil and the one that I lay just on the top of the soil. And then we'll just miss them. That's all we've got for today. I'll catch up with you. Be sure to check out another video. And thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.